Hey, I'm Danielle and I'm going to teach you how to use a simpler device in Live. First, what I'll do is I'll look at this audio that I have. Stay with me tonight. And I want to chop that up a little bit. So I'm going to go to my browser, go to instruments, then to simpler and drag it onto an empty MIDI track. Then I'm going to take my audio and I'm going to drag it where it says drop sample here. You'll notice on the left hand side how there's three modes, classic, one shot, and slice. We're just going to start with classic for now. Notice on the left and the right how there's these start and stop markers. So, so I'm going to get really in here and just tighten that up a bit. And then when I go to record arm on that MIDI track, I can play it on my MIDI keyboard. So now I'm able to take her voice and play it like an instrument. Now that we can do that, we'll go check out Slice. So notice that it puts these little red or orange lines across the audio, and that's where it thinks that there's a transient. A transient is the beginning of a piece of audio. So you can see right here, we have the first transient. I'm gonna use my magnifier to zoom in here. And where the pitches are changing, where she's singing, they put a little marker. And I can even come in here and double click on it to delete double click on it to add, or I can even move them around a bit just to get really, really accurate. I'm gonna zoom out here a little bit, and then I'm gonna play it. So now I have all these little segments where I can play her track. And if I go over to the sensitivity, I can turn it down and they'll have less little markers so I can play bigger parts of the song. And I can really mess with the piece of audio and get something really different and pretty cool and unique. Now I'm gonna record what I have. I'm gonna turn my metronome on. And here we go. And that's how you use a simpler device in life.